Ever feel like your bank account is playing hide and seek with your paycheck? You reach in, expecting your usual Friday fund, but all you find are tumbleweeds. Maybe an unexpected bill snuck up on you, or that dinner with friends drained your account faster than anticipated. Now you're staring down the weekend with a sinking feeling. What are you supposed to do? This is where cash advance apps like FloatMe come in. They offer a quick and seemingly easy solution, borrow a small amount of money to hold you over until your next payday. But before you jump on the Float Me bandwagon, there's a crucial question you might be asking. Does Float Me affect my credit score? This is a biggie. Your credit score is like your financial report card, impacting everything from loan approvals to apartment rentals. Messing with it can have serious consequences, so it's natural to be cautious. Fret not, finance friends. Let's dive deep into the world of FloatMe and credit scores, unpacking how the app works and whether it'll send your credit score spiraling down the drain. FloatMe 101, how it works. Imagine FloatMe as your friendly neighborhood money manager, albeit a digital one. You link your bank account to the app, and based on your income and spending habits, FloatMe assigns you a borrowing limit, typically between $50 and $100. When that Friday feeling fades and your account's looking a little empty, you can request a float. Here's the beauty. FloatMe doesn't do traditional credit checks. They rely on your bank account activity to determine your eligibility. This means no hard inquiries on your credit report, which is a good thing. Hard inquiries can ding your score for a short period. So FloatMe doesn't touch my credit score. According to FloatMe themselves, the answer is a resounding no. They don't report your activity to the major credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. This translates to no negative impact on your credit score as long as you use the service responsibly. The catch, there's always a catch, right? While FloatMe stays clear of your credit report, there are a few things to keep in mind. Repayment is crucial. FloatMe isn't free money. You'll need to repay the borrowed amount, typically on your next payday, along with a fee. Missing a repayment won't affect your credit score, but it can lead to restrictions on using the app in the future. Fees can add up. Those fees can make borrowing seem less appealing. FloatMe charges a flat fee, which might be a significant percentage of the amount you borrow, especially for smaller advances. FloatMe versus traditional credit. So, how does FloatMe stack up against traditional credit options like credit cards? Credit cards offer higher borrowing limits and more flexibility, but they come with the risk of accumulating high interest debt if not managed properly. Additionally, credit card companies do report your activity to credit bureaus, which can impact your score. The FloatMe verdict, friend or foe. FloatMe can be a handy tool in a pinch, especially if you need a small amount of money and avoiding a credit check is a priority. However, the fees can be steep, and it's not a sustainable solution for long-term financial needs. Here's the bottom line. Use FloatMe responsibly, repay your advances on time, and consider it a temporary solution, not a replacement for a solid budget. Alternative Money Management Solutions FloatMe might not be your perfect match, but there are other options. Negotiate with billers. Sometimes, a simple call to your service provider can land you a payment extension, saving you the extra fees associated with FloatMe. Build an emergency fund. Having a small savings buffer can prevent these cash flow emergencies altogether. Even setting aside a small amount each month can make a big difference. Explore low interest loans. Depending on your situation, a small personal loan from a bank or credit union might offer a lower interest rate than FloatMe's fees. Remember, knowledge is power. Understanding how financial tools like FloatMe work can help you make informed decisions and avoid unwanted surprises. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, stay financially fit.